What's up fight fans? This is Roy Coughlin for Solar Boxing in association with SA Boxing Talk. And today we are talking about a fight that literally just got made um, earlier today. It's Callum Mundo Smith versus Hassan Ndam. And Callum Smith is making the first title defense of his WBA super middleweight strap. Uh, and he is fighting Cameroonian Hassan Ndam um, who plies his trade out of France. So what do we think of this fight? Um, it's on the undercard of the Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz Jr. heavyweight title clash, which is not this Saturday, but next Saturday, the 1st of June. Um, it's a mismatch, plain and simple. You know, Callum Smith is probably the most, the strongest and most feared super middleweight in the division. And Hassan Ndam, he is a credible middleweight, two-time champion, uh, won the WBA uh, interim belt in 2010. He's challenged two times for the other straps, being the WBO, which he lost to Peter Cullen, and the IBF, uh, which he lost to uh, David Lemieux. Uh, and then he beat Ryoto uh, Murata in Japan for, you know, on a questionable decision, but he still won the WBA middleweight championship, the regular version of the title. The WBA has so many titles. Anyways, that's a whole video and a whole conversation for another day. He then lost it in the rematch, uh, and the last time he fought was against Martin Murray. This is a mismatch, but also a in our opinion a really good piece of matchmaking um, or promotion at least shall we call it by matchroom because what they're doing is Callum Smith he won the the, the title against George Groves uh, he won the Muhammad Ali trophy he's the world boxing super series champion he's the WBA super middleweight champion he's the he, he's basically the the ruler of the division because he's been a super middleweight title holder the longest. If you look at Caleb Plant, he just won his IBF strap only a few months ago. The same with Darrell, also won the WBC strap only a few months ago. The WBO championship, that was vacated by Ramirez and Billy Joe Saunders just won that over the weekend as well. So Callum Smith is the longest reigning champion. The only other champion credible world champion is the WBA regular title holder which is Canelo Alvarez and now this is why it's an interesting piece of matchmaking because what they're doing is putting Callum Smith on a massive stage it's Madison Square Garden on the undercard of the Anthony Joshua versus Andy Ruiz Jr. fight everyone wants to see what Anthony Joshua is going to do with Andy Ruiz. Can he handle Andy Ruiz Jr.? And how can he beat him? And can he beat him? And how does he beat him? And in what fa fashion? Because we all saw last weekend what uh, Deontay Wilder did to Dominic Brazil. It was brutal. First round KO. But enough about the heavyweights. What I'm reiterating is it's a massive stage the, the pay-per-view value is going to be high on this. There's going to be a lot of eyeballs on this fight. And it really gives Callum Smith an opportunity to make a massive statement in the division. Because not only is he going to be attracting the eyes and likes of countrymen alike, so Billy Joe Saunders 1, as well as John Ryder 2, which are both massive domestic scraps if they can be made in the UK. And let us not forget uh, Chris Eubank Jr., who is also, you know, vying for one of the, the, the titles, one of the straps. You know, he's ranked with the WBA too. So that fight can be made and it can generate a lot of money. But I don't know how much money that can generate in comparison to other unification opportunities especially with the likes of someone like Canelo. Now, will Canelo fight Callum Smith? That's something for the comments board. I'd love to hear your opinion on that. But that's all we've got time for. Next week, Saturday, we watch Callum Smith for the first time since he ripped the title from George Groves. 
we're really interesting to see how what if he beats Hassan if he beats Hassan and Dam but it will be really interesting to see what happens afterwards uh, it's a great night of boxing we're really looking forward to that card please guys like the video you know feedback to us with some comments we'd love to hear your opinion and please subscribe to the channel um, it would mean a lot to us and we'll keep pushing out some great content for you yours in boxing